six fingers on each hand. He'd also have 12 toes, or so the theory goes. Well, with 12 digits, I mean fingers, he probably would have invented two more digits when he invented his number system. Then, if he'd saved the zero for the end, he could count and multiply by 12s just as easy as you and I do by 10s. six fingers on each hand, he'd probably count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, deck L, do. Deck and L being two entirely new signs, meaning 10 and 11, single digits. And his 12, do, would have been written one zero. Get it? That'd be swell to multiply by 12. Hey, little 12 toes, I hope you well. Must be some far-flung planet where you dwell. If we were together, you could be my cousin. Down here we call them a dozen. Hey, little twelve toes. Please come back home. Now, if men had been born with six fingers on each hand, his children would have them too. And when they played hide-and-go-seek, they'd count by sixes fast. When they studied piano, they'd do their six-finger exercises. And when they went to school, they learned the golden rule and how to multiply by 12 easily. Just put down the zero. But me, I have to learn it the hard way. Let me see now. One time 12 is 12. Two time 12 is 24. Three time 12 is 36. Four time 12 is 48. Five time 12 is 60. Six times 12 is 72. Seven times 12 is 84. Eight times 12 is 96. Nine times 12 is 108. 10 times 12 is 120. 11 times 12 is 132. And 12 times 12 is 144. Hey, little 12 toes, I hope you're thriving. Some of us 10 toed folks are still surviving. If you help me with my twelves, I'll help you with your tears. 